Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hold the line! Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Grugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back troops, Legionnaires, and new recruits. I got something wicked for you today. You're looking at the Takumi Tax Solution. This is one badass blade, but as always, we got to put it through the test. Legionnaires, as always, what do you guys and gals got in the field today? What are you marching on with? Today I'm carrying my Watchman W102 badass folder. What do you guys and gals got? Veterans Active Military, as always, thank you very much for your service. Check out this blade. I mean, how much more tactical can you get with this thing? It's pretty cool. Quick specs, troops. Okay, don't forget to hit the Takumi Tac website. They've got great information, tons of knives. All right, full tang. Overall length, 12.25 inch. Blade length, 5.75 inch. Handle length, 6.5 inch. Knife weight is 11.6 ounce. Blade shape is Tonto. Blade material is D2, and we're looking at an HRC of 61 to 62. Blade thickness is 4.93 millimeters. The blade grind on this is flat. It is a plain edge. The blade finish is a titanium nitrate. The handle material is G10 in a black color. It does come with a Kydex sheath. This also features a saw back. As you can see right in front of you, troops, my son got one. It was gifted by Takumi Tak. And I just want to say thank you, Takumi Tak. Really appreciate it. I'm going to put a picture up of what uh, my son received. He got the satin version. It is badass. I'm going to be hitting Florida soon, visiting my son for the holidays, and I will be doing a review with the satin version of the solution. Close-up time, and I like this one, man. Check it out. Look at that badass fixed blade, man. It is just wicked. This is some geometry right here, man. Talk about stabby pokey. All right, awesome flat grind, okay, mid saber, flat, really nice. It's got this saw back, the teeth are extremely sharp, and I am looking forward to testing it out, making a notch. I'm sure that you can go through some aluminum, you need to punch through a hull of a helicopter maybe, or an aircraft, and then you need to do some sawing. I bet you these teeth are capable, okay? A little bit of jimping on the top, and also on the sides for a little bit of pinch gripping for whatever reason, sharpening choil. Look at that. Look at that in the sunlight, man. That thing is fantastic. Now, the Kumi Tech did mention that this is where you want to hold the knife to get a good grip so it doesn't slip on your hand. I'm going to wear gloves just in case. Beautiful G10 handles, nicely contoured. All right, very rounded off, very flush. The fit and finish of Takumi Tac knives are impeccable, just fantastic. And, you know, even though I only saw pictures of my son's knife, I am excited to see the satin version. And I cannot wait to hit Florida and show you guys and gals that version of this knife when the time comes. So stay tuned. Full tank goodness, nice and thick. All right. It does have a generous hole for a lanyard. And I did put a lanyard on here because I am going to wear gloves just to be on the safe side. Now let's take a look at the sheath well i've got a great view for you guys and gals right there taco style sheath rivets you could purchase third party options like a ferro rod or maybe a pouch or maybe you want to get some straps for a um different type of carry it does come with this tech lock okay you could have it in an upright configuration or in a scout configuration and then you can completely take it off and purchase another third party option for a dangler system or some kind of an extension over here. Still pretty nice kydex sheath, tough, thick. Let's pop the knife in. Fits in there with authority. All right. Nice and quiet for the tactical types out there. Real great. I am pretty excited. I got a, myself a nice decent size log. I think it'll be a good test for such a tactical knife. Now, I understand this is not for the outdoors, but I need to test it. And what better way than to test it out in the outdoors? Why not? Okay. So, got my gloves on just for safety reasons because there is no guard over here. But again, the Kumi Tech did mention that this little groove over here is where you got to keep your finger. I still want to be on the safe side. 
we're going to chop through this log, going to make a small piece, then we're going to baton and see how it works out, okay? Then I have some other mediums to test out more in tactical in nature. Let's see what this blade can do. As always, Legionnaires, I have to always mention that Takumi Tack is always sharp right out of the box. And I am hoping that the other content creators that purchased Takumi Tack recently, that they do show those knives in an outdoor setting and just help reify how awesome these knives are. Okay, and so far, you know, it's uh, doing a fine job. Let me just wrap this around my wrist a little bit more. I mean, look, it's chopping through. Nice. Nice. I am really excited to test out this knife. My son, when he saw this, I said, this one is yours, you know? And then I guess because of the success with Takumi Tack and their 20% off sale for Christmas, you know, they, uh, I asked them if they can, you know, give, give me a knife for my son. And they sure did, man. And I, I'm so appreciative to Takumi Tack. Just awesome. Nice. I'm going to use every part of the blade. As usual, I'm using the rear part. I do recommend a lanyard, 100%. I do recommend it. Even though there is this little groove for the finger, you know, it, it is a, just a tad slippery. And I'm, I'm very grateful that I have the lanyard here. Let's keep going. Just biting in. Look at those. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that chunk right there. What better way to test a knife than outdoors, man? Okay. We're almost through, troops. Look at that. Now I'm using the very front part of the blade. And it is just eating away. Let's do it again. Front part of the blade. Look at that. Almost a sweet spot. Look at that. Fantastic. The money shot is coming soon. There we go, it's loose. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Blade looks good. No chips, no rolls. We are looking fine, troops. We are looking fine. Let me grab a piece of wood. And let's see. Look at that. Okay, I was chopping with the front part of the blade. Let's choke up a little bit. Middle part. Just taking off that bark. No problem. We're looking good with the sharpness. After a little bit of chopping. Making curls. Let's dig in a bit. Yeah, look at that. Digging in. Digging in. And then the finer stuff. All right. We're looking good. Let's do some batoning, even with that sawback. Legionnaires, this time no gloves. I'm going to use the whole blade. Let's do some batoning. Okay. Okay, I'm not holding back on the teeth. I'm batoning right through that sawback. And then I'll show you the teeth after I am done see if they're broken or not but as of right now it's a test and I'm gonna punish this knife a little bit so far so good okay it's
it's no secret, I love Takumi Tack knives. I just do. They run with the best of them and they keep up. One thing about Takumi Tack, the scales, the handles, the screws, always in nice and tight. They never come loose. This is probably my 10th uh, Takumi Tack I've tested. Man, the scales are always solid. All right. Okay, we got a little bit more to go. Let's do the opposite side. A little bit different way of batoning. There we go, troops. Real nice, okay? We're good. We're really good. Uh, just for an example, let's... I have this other piece over here. Let's just do some vertical. You'll just see it in a second. There we go. All right, cool. Let's do it one more time. Great. All right. Got some feather sticks for later. Still sharp. Okay, just. Taking off that bark, and look, you can see how thin the curls are coming out. All right, but we're holding off on the feather sticks. I want to keep on batoning through these pieces. Let me get the larger piece, see if I can make some thirds. I'm going to put this down. Let's make some thirds here, okay? It's a little weird. Just destroying this log. Destroying this log. It's not a traditional looking knife, but it's doing the job, man, you know? And I've said it before, once a knife starts doing the job, the looks of a knife tend to go away because the knife is working just fine. Okay, we got a third here, okay? All right, good. I actually can make that even smaller, but I already made my feather sticks. Let's do one more time, give you guys and gals a good demonstration. Oh, by the way, so far the teeth are looking good. Nothing's broken, nothing's mashed. So far, so good. All right, let's keep going. And you know for a fact, I am using the baton to cut through this wood. And I'm using that spine with the teeth. Let's keep going. More of an angle. Nice. Let's finish it up. We're good to go here. All right. We are good to go here. I'm good. That was uh, that was some awesome batoning. Vertical, horizontal, did the job. Wicked piece of wood, went right through. Let me clean this up. Let's do some feather sticks. These are the two sticks that I used for the vertical baton. All right, let's see if I can make some nice feathers with this for everybody, and I can choke up real nice. Again, always a learning curve with any new knife. But as you can see, after all that batoning, chopping, still sharp, still doing the job. Not only am I making curls, the feather sticks, I'm making little individual curls right here, okay? Pretty awesome. Let's keep on going. Nice. Beautiful.
Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome, individual curls, feather stick. Let's try something a little different for testing. Put this down. All right. Let's bash this up a little. Let's give it a go. Beautiful, right through. So far, edge is looking good. Sorry about the noise. There is some heavy equipment over here in this area. There's always a ground staff and they're always working. So let's keep going. Nice. It's a nice thick piece of wood and she's cutting right through. We'll try a little different area of the blade. Great. Beautiful. I'm going to pick those up to show you guys and gals in a little bit. Nice. One more, troops. Looking good. Looking good. Blades looking good. Yeah, no chips, no issues. Fantastic. Okay, here is the aftermath of that stick from chopping. Okay, not bad. Now. I found myself another nice hard stick over here. Let's test out the teeth real quick. There we go. Effective, okay? Effective. Now if you want to make a nice deep notch, you can. It's a good start. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Nice and deep. And then... Use the blade to make the notch. All right. Let's see over here in the front part. Yep. It's doing it. Probably want a glove to do this. However, it is capable. All right. And then I guess, you know, if you wanted to, keep on going deeper. And you notch. And then you cut. You know, you just, you just help yourself to making this notch a little bit better. You know what I mean? All right, cool. I think that worked out just fine. The teeth are sharp, the teeth are fine. There's nothing wrong with these teeth. There's nothing wrong with the uh, blade. I wanna test out the tip, let's give it a go. All right, troops, this is a piece of wood that I've tested out before with another knife. Well, I'm just gonna go right next to it, okay? And start drilling. And then we'll see how the tip is after I'm done. So this is a nice piece of wood to do some testing, some real little testing. I'm gonna just go around. And just dig in a little bit. I wanna make sure that you guys and gals see for yourselves that I'm not playing around here. All right. There you go. Another divot, okay? And again, we just do different angles using the point as a pivot. And you can just go around. We just clean this up a little bit. Nice, okay. Look at that, tip is still straight. We're looking good, all right, look at that. Useful, effective, even though it's tactical, 
definitely can be used for outdoors. Let's move on. All right, troops, I got a couple of different mediums over here. I got some seatbelt material, all right, some paracord, two different types of rope, and this uh, skid ties, okay? So let's start off with the paracord. Let me just start off over here. Oops. Okay, we're looking good there. Let's just double up on the paracord just in case. All right, good to go here. All right, in case uh, you need to cuff somebody with paracord and then you gotta untie them. Some seatbelt material, maybe you're in a Humvee, maybe you're in a squad car, maybe you're aiding in a major accident. Easy, okay? Just easy to cut, no problem. All right, next up. Let's try some thin rope. Done. Let's double up on it. Okay. We're good to go on this, on the thin rope. Let's try a little bit thicker natural rope. All right, good to go. Last but not least, heavy duty plastic skid tie. All right, the teeth were getting caught up on the plastic, believe it or not, but it did it, okay? Because I know sometimes law enforcement, military, they got some of those thick twist ties for the uh, uh, Tango's wrists. I know they probably have other tools, but at least you know that it can do the job right here. Let's conclude, troops, because I'm real satisfied. All right, troops, before I conclude, nice thin paper. Okay, still sharp. All right, beautiful. Just fantastic, man. All right, what can I say, man? This, this knife, it kicks some ass. You know, there is no denying it. It's a hunk of steel, and it did real well outdoors i can only imagine what it could do for the soldier or the law enforcement officer or the first responder if this is the type of knife that you guys and gals like extremely capable definitely capable for the outdoors just a fantastic blade and i'm glad i was able to test it out and show you guys and gals what this knife could do. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits, as always, appreciate you guys and gals. I wanna bring awareness to everybody, hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day to more. There are veterans and active military out there that wants to get out of the service. They do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, troops, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video, pause on the slides, take a look at the websites, take a look at the phone numbers, and read a heartfelt message from a legionnaire and one of your own, Martin Miller, 66 to 69. Please seek the help that you all have earned and deserve. All right, troops, legionnaires, new recruits, let me know what you guys and gals think about this blade. I think it's badass. It might not be traditional, but it sure as hell did the job, just like any other knife that I've tested on this channel. It was awesome. It was a pleasure to test out this knife. At the ready, troops, hold the line. Take care of yourselves. Legionnaires! Move!